Smart Address in Total is designed to help keep you consistent with your property data from report to report, as well as save you time in finding and reusing data from previous reports. Smart Address relies on Total's Comparables database, which runs in the background and keeps your property data up to date with all the data from your signed reports as you do them. It's always on, so there's no need to worry whether the database has the newest data or not. Here's how Smart Address works. When you type an address into the grid, either in the form or into the comp's side-by-side -side view, Total prompts you above the grid if you've ever used this property before and how many times. This is true even for the subject. Click the icon or the button in the toolbar to open Smart Address. In the Smart Address window, Total shows you what you've typed into the report for this property on the left. In this example, it's blank because I haven't typed anything other than the address. To the right, you can see your entire history of how you've used this property in prior reports. The most recent date of sale is on the left, going to the furthest on the right. Notice how I've previously used this property four times. To open and view any of the older reports where I've used this property before, click the button here. Smart Address compares what's already in the grid for this property with all prior versions and flags your inconsistencies with yellow icons and red text. In this case, all the fields are labeled as inconsistent because I don't have any data in the grid, only the address. Starting out this way gives me the option to import a previously used version of this property directly into my grid without having to do a lot of work retyping. In this example, I can tell that the two oldest versions are dated before UAD was even implemented, so I can check this box to remove them from view. If I want to look at only the most recent property information based on sale date, I check this box. Notice that I have versions of this property that share the same sale date, but because they're listed separately, that means that there must be a difference or inconsistency between them. I simply scroll down in the grid to find it. In some cases, you might want to remove a particular version from the consistency check, which you can do by unchecking this box at the top of that particular version. Now I get the option to use either an individual item from any prior use or bring over all the data from any specific version of that property. To bring over a single line item from the grid, simply click into the grid field for that version and click the green arrow. This scenario lets me choose which pieces from which versions I would like to copy over into the report. If I determine that I'd like to reuse an entire properties version, I click here to push all the data from that version into my report at once. At this point, I can either click Save to commit these changes to the report, or I can go to the top and scroll through all existing comparables. Also, by checking this box, the report's subject property is also included in the Smart Address window. Whenever you're done, simply click Save to push all your changes to the report.